But first, St. John's County school leaders are moving forward with building another high school to alleviate overcrowding and growth in the northeast part of the district. So all you parents in St. John's County tonight, three zoning proposals are on the table that would affect students mainly at Bartram Trail and Nice High Schools. The new school is slated to be built within the Twin Creeks development that's over off Beachwalk Boulevard. On your side, Robert Bradfield spoke with the superintendent of St. John's County Schools about the need for more space. St. John's County is bursting at the seams with growth, and it's no different for the school district's enrollment numbers. We appreciate the idea of growth. School Superintendent Tim Forson says it's much better to be in a district with expansion plans than a county that's having to make cutbacks. Recently, the school board approved the opening of two new high schools over the next two years. Our deficit might be in elementary or middle school, but certainly for us at this point in time, it is high school. Tacoy Creek High School will open for the 2021-2022 school year with high school III opening a year later. The state gave it that designation because the school does not have a name yet. Forsen says high school III will primarily pull from Bartram Trail and some of Nice High School. Both are currently well above the district's desired capacity. It helps us to keep, uh, keep our schools uh, closer to the desired number, which is uh, no more than about 21, 2200 students. The district unveiled three zoning plans at the end of March and want the input from parents before a final vote by the end of the current school year. Forsen says parents should not be worried about their child transferring high schools in their final year. Consideration has been made. We'll open up the school as a 9, 10, 11 grades. It won't have a senior class so that those kids who were at Bartram or at Nice get to finish where they started. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. And a school board workshop on Zonia is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. We'll have the details posted on our website and in the First Coast News app.